Joining me now is the director of the SOAS China Institute, is Professor Steve Sang. Steve, thank you very, very much. Great to have you on the show. China hitting back about all of this stuff. They're saying, well, hang on a minute, you know, we shoot down stuff like this all the time, or we see things like this all the time. Is this just, like I was talking to Mark there, a case of us spying on each other and now we're choosing to overreact to it? Well, I think we've certainly be, been spying on each other all the time. Um, what we do know in the China case is that the Americans do fly spy planes up and down the China coast regularly. And they have previously flown U-2s and SL-71s over Chinese airspace. So the Chinese government has certainly for a long time been quite happy to send Chinese crafts to spy on the Americans if they could. But whether the multiple balloons we have seen in the last few days are all Chinese mm. or not, that remains to be seen. I suspect the first one almost certainly was. The Chinese agreed that it was one of their own. Mm. OK. Steve, whether or not these are Chinese or whether they're spy balloons or they're weather balloons, potentially isn't really the main issue at play here. I suspect the main issue at play is the increased rhetoric and the increased possible threat and inclination towards war as a result of stuff like this. We are now seeing back and forth on a heightened scale between the US and China. We've seen what Russia's done in Ukraine. Is there a chance that we are just right on the precipice of China doing something similar with Taiwan? Well, we are certainly seeing a structural change in the relationship between China and leading Western countries, whether we're talking about the United States and some other countries, even including the UK. And that structural change in relationship affects the way how we see this kind of uh, events and how we settled those uh, problems and how we choose to respond to it. Um, the, the reality with the United States was that we have, they have a democratic president about to announce a bid for a second term and had just lost the control ah. of the House. And therefore, the, the United States would have to respond very robustly to the Chinese intrusion to, into U.S. airspace.